Hi, YouTube family. Are you ready for the curls and the scoop and the giggles? Because you're going to laugh. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture, and it is time. And I've got a lot to unwrap today. Let's start with uh Come on. How you guys doing? My allergies have been driving me crazy. These curls, been everything been driving me crazy. The curls, the lashes. I think we got it together today. It's not cute not knowing, and now we're going to know. Monique, this is her time. She recently opened up to People Magazine. She's got a new Netflix special streaming on April the 4th. My name is Monique. In the People Magazine interview, she talks about her life right now. And she says, no more open marriage for her. Remember back in the early 2000s, she opened up the essence to her and her husband were in an open marriage. And people were shocked because she said, I don't think people know how to take it. I was like, everybody don't need to know everything. And I just didn't, I just didn't think it was good. I, if you're doing that, everybody don't need to know. She married her husband, Sydney, who is her manager. They are the parents of twins. They're 17. Monique says she grew out of that phase. She really wants to preserve what she has with her husband. Here's her manager. They are inseparable. What constitutes? You know, there's different ways to be having an open marriage. The kind where, okay, you can see who you want. I'm going to see who I want, but we still going to be married. Or the other. You invite someone into the bedroom to be with you, which is always trouble. Child, don't let nobody moan too hard. The other person be like, you like that? You really enjoying yourself over there? It gets messy. It gets complicated. It's just, you can't be inviting. I know some people, they do it all the time. They think it's so cute until somebody falls for the other. And then it's like, Monique says she has grown out of that. No more open marriage for her. This is her time. Cannot wait to see this Netflix special start streaming on April the 4th and her new Lee Daniels movie, The Delivered, I believe it's called, or The Deliverance. It's coming out later this year. Tiger Woods. Child, Tiger, the, Tiger Tiger's a mess. Well, he'd been a mess when he was married and sleeping with all those women. But this here, with this girlfriend, the 38-year-old girlfriend, he's 47. When she made the claim that she was suing him and that she wanted the judge to throw out the NDA, because when you date a Tiger Woods, you got to sign something that said you ain't going to talk about it. One of the mistresses said signing an NDA ruined her life because she couldn't write a book about that relationship. This woman signed the NDA. But then when she said she was suing him, she threw out the, there was some sexual assault. So it made people say, what? This is how Tiger Woods dumped her. They broke up last summer, but she was still living on the property. She thought they were going on vacation. So the drivers take her to the airport and get her bags and stuff out the car and drop her there. Then they drive off. And she's like, wait, 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 wait. Where y'all going? She realized something was wrong. She makes her way back to the house. All the locks are changed. He played her. He played her. He was like, I'm going to get you out of this house. Now, if you break up with somebody, do you really expect to live in the same place? You really got to think. A scorned woman. Whew, a scorned woman is, is nobody to play with. She wants $30 million because she thought she was going to be Mrs. Tiger Woods. And he would dangle it in front of her face. Oh, I'm, I'm married. We get married. We get married. This is why he'll be dating sisters. Because we be sitting up there like, what are we getting married this weekend? What time are we getting married? Who are you taking too long? What time are we getting married? This woman is mad. <laughs> she mad. Because he done wasted her eggs. 
Women in their 30s do not want their eggs wasted if they want to be a mom. They ain't got no time to be dillying, dallying, because you're, you're looking at the clock. You're like, uh, you wasted my eggs. What are we doing here? She's suing him for $30 million. She's been through a lot with him. She is the woman who nursed him through all of those surgeries, the car accident, more surgeries, the wrangle right, right leg. She dealt with it all. And this is how he says, thank you. So she mad about that. She mad about the wasted eggs. Now she's throwing in there was some sexual assault. Some back action and you mad? I don't know. A woman scorned. <laughs> this is the lesson. A woman scorned is nobody to play with. And she mad and she won $30 million. He's going to have to give her money to go away. Because she wants to tell it all. Could you imagine? You know when you're sick in an hospital and you, and you can't... Um, Say if you can't go to the bathroom by yourself and somebody got to help you. And if she was the one that changed that bedding. Oh, she mad. She probably changed that bedding and changed this diaper thinking, Well, I'm going to be your wife. I'm going to be Mrs. Tiger Wood. <laughs> Not today. Tiger, you're going to have to give her some money. You're going to have to give her some money. Stop playing. You're going to have to give her some money so she'll go away. I'm not saying you got to give her $30 million, But she, she she was there for six years. Six years of dealing. And he don't seem like he the nicest person. Tiger, give her some money. I predicted an Oscar controversy. I talked about this yesterday. I said, you know, Monday, we're going to be like, who saw that picture that won? One of the hottest women in Hollywood is the Asian actress Michelle Yeoh. Everything, everywhere, all at once. She's been winning a lot of awards everywhere. And, and she's been in the game for a minute. And she's a good actress. She retweeted something that someone said about it's time for more representation in Hollywood. It was directed at Kate Blanchett, who's also up for Best Actress. She already won two Oscars. She really going to win again Sunday? She retweeted it. Now they're trying to say that Michelle Yeoh violated Oscar rules. Da, 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 da. I knew it was some BS. <laughs> I knew it was. And there's going to be a controversy if she does not win and Kate Blanchett wins. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. People going to be mad if Angela Bassett loses out to um, Jamie Lee Curtis. I don't think a lot of people going to be happy. But we are going to see the Little Mermaid trailer. We're also going to see Rihanna. We're also going to see Lenny Kravitz singing. Lady Gaga. You know, a lot of people, <laughs> they watch the clips. They, they just wait for the clips. They don't watch the whole show. Jimmy Kimmel is hosting. <laughs> I think there's going to be some controversy. I also talked about, I think that young men getting in the NFL, the NBA, they need to take a course in life and finances. There was a guy who was an NFL star back in the day. His name was Vince Young. He blew through $35 million. It's one thing not to have no money. But could you imagine blowing that kind of money? He would spend $5,000 a week at the Cheesecake Factory. The hell was he eating? Sean Kemp, an OG in the game. Years he played for the Sonics. He was involved in a drive-by shooting. I know he's in his 50s because I grew up watching him. It's got to be. He said it was self-defense. I just believe young players, I guess some of the OGs got to be taught too. You got to know how to handle life. Life, money, drugs, girls, liquor, gambling, you name it. They got to learn how to handle this. 
Streaming tomorrow, Delroy Lindo and Kerry Washington, the Hulu show, Unprisoned. It starts streaming. It's about a woman raising her son. She takes in her father, who is just home from prison. It's a comedy. Idris Elba, Luther, The Fallen Son, opens in theater, starts streaming on Netflix, co-stars Cynthia Erivo. Scream 6. I don't even like horror movies, but for some reason, why was he goes face? Jenna Ortega, one of the hottest stars in Hollywood right now, is one of the stars of Scream 6. Gail King, could she be leaving CBS? She does the mornings on CBS. She is seriously considering taking up that offer from the bosses of CNN to do a primetime show with Charles Barkley. Gail King is 68. CNN is in trouble. The CBS Morning Show is in trouble. It's just no match for today and Good Morning America. But don't be surprised if you hear that this is going to be coming down the pike. Jonathan Majors, he's set to play Dennis Rotman in the motion picture 48 Hours in Vegas during the, during the climb with the Bulls in the NBA Finals. Dude disappeared for 48 hours. He was in Vegas a while ago now. Uh, the Keisha Cole story is coming a lifetime. And she's starring as herself. Now, if you know anything about Keisha Cole, you're probably like, who's playing her mama? Her mother is being played by actress Debbie Morgan. She's going to play Mom Frankie. Remember Debbie Morgan on My Children, Angie? She's going to be starring Reggae Jean Page. Bridgerton, The Duke. Peacock Network has tapped him to play Muhammad Ali in an eight-part series. And what the series is going to do is going to chronicle different parts of Muhammad Ali's life. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. And Will Smith, he hasn't seen the uh, Chris Rock special, but they say he's embarrassed. You know everybody and their grandmother calling him. He said this. He said this about Jada. He said this about you. But they say he's embarrassed and hopes to reconcile. Leave a comment. I know I want to hear from y'all. Leave a comment. What y'all think about Tiger Woods? Monique, the open marriages. She says no more. Keisha Cole playing herself. Reggae Jean Page playing Muhammad Ali. Leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel and you never have to miss anything that we talk about. It's not cute not knowing and now you know. I'm Patty Jackson. Thanks for joining me. I am your auntie of pop culture.